Hello everyone! So I see I'm in and I see you are coming in. <laughs> so uh, another live uh, tonight with me, Lisanne. Um, yeah, the first of this year. So welcome everyone. Um, happy day. I have uh, this is my last week vacation and uh, good moments to be live here. So welcome everyone, hope you're all doing fine and have some great days. Hello, hello. So let's see. Nice to see you here again. I think it's Els. Nice to see you here again. So welcome everyone. So tonight um, uh, I have some things I planned to uh, show you and some things uh, I'm going to make with you. Hi Janice. Oh, there are a lot of people. Uh, hi Els. <laughs> Yes, of course, you need to like, comment, and share. Let me see, then, then you get a chance of a $50 gift certificate. Um, let's see. I don't know yet who is the winner. Uh, so, uh, oh, of course, Happy New Year. I think this... A little bit the last week that we can say that but happy new year and um so i have a lot of plans um i have a planner from my mother here um she made the december daily better than i did <laughs> uh, i didn't have time again but um she made a beautiful planner so i want to show that quickly to you i also played today with my um uh, planner the bigger planner um, for my new planner for 2023. Um, so I want to show that too. But I think I will do this uh, thing uh, at the end of the live. And I will start with the uh, December day by day. Because this is from last year. This is from new. So I think that's a good idea. Um, hello, hello everyone. So um, maybe you did uh, the you bought the kit from uh, Annette Green. My mom and I did also, and she made a beautiful planner with it, and filled it in our own style, added some things, and uh, now it's finished. Because December's over, so it's finished. So let's see. It is the sidekick, of course, because it was a sidekick kit. So a lot of... Uh, <laughs> I don't want to um, stay with every picture, but this is, uh, made my mom also. It is... Um, mm, ah, crutch it. She did that for me for my classroom. So with the angle and... Uh, yeah. It is, uh, the kids liked it in my class. Um, so she added uh, some things, but also sometimes only a picture of some candles. Like here. <laughs> we did, uh, I get a pizza, pizza hut for my birthday. And at um, 5 December, when Sinterklaas was in Nederland. Uh, we did it with my nephews. Um, now here she bought the new sidekick dies with the pocket page. Uh, now the Christmas tree. And she made a lot of pictures this year. Most of the time she forgot to make a picture, but now she didn't. So... She was always cross-stitching this year. There was snow in the Netherlands this year. 
well a lot of pictures this uh, this is the cat from my uh, brother nephews Yelly is his name and uh, my nephew sends some pictures uh, most of the time every week <laughs> so uh, this was one moment well she uh, uh, made pictures of a card she made this year from snow so she filled it with a lot of things when she did uh, uh, Christmas, uh, uh, how do I say that? I don't know. Quadrus, quadrus. I don't know. Um, yeah. So also, did she use some only uh, some elements? Ah, this is empty, mom. <laughs> you didn't see that. Um, so here, yeah, snow globes, also beautiful. Let me see. And I see some glittering in here. And felt. So she made the sock and the sweater. Really beautiful. Now, and the mock. And this one she got for me because I made little gifts. Maybe you saw it at the page. And um, she kept this here. So here we were eating with the family. Another picture when we're eating family. <laughs> yeah, so very beautiful. She did uh, really nice things. So um, yeah, I think uh, it's a quick flip through this planner so maybe i know my mom is watching maybe you can send heart for my mom for her day by day she also plays pictures in this group but maybe we can send some hearts for her good job so at the end i will um, show you this planner just a quick view from the new uh, for the new uh, year. Uh, thank you for all the hearts. She will love that. So for tonight, I plan to make a frame, and I, the frame I prepared. This is the frame from the uh, shadow box frames, and um, you can use it like this. So you can make things at the frame. Um, you can uh, also make a background and that's what i will do tonight and then um, build it up so what i did i prepared some things for die cutting so i have the trees from the mason jar still favorite of mine i have the how do i call this the earth background from the planner essentials I have some uh, Sunline Adventure Edges as snow. I have some parts of the fox. <laughs> he is still in parts, so we need to fix them. Yeah. And hopefully everything is in... Uh, I don't think so. It's a little bit big, but okay. So, and then I have some branches from different dyes, um, uh, from the winter home pocket, but also from, I call it Seed Mountain. Seed Mountain, yes. So I will uh, color this with you, but it was dark good already. Um... Hello, hello for everyone who's coming in. Um, and then the background. And this is from the Mystical Winter paper. 
and I saw, but maybe else you need to uh, um, say if I'm correct. There are some dies uh, for sale now from the planner. Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. From the art journal special, is that right? Did I saw that uh, at the uh, website? And I thought some of the dyes I'm using tonight, but I don't know which exactly. And I forgot something to pick, but I will pick that. Mm -hmm. Just a stamp, but it is in my craft room, so I don't leave you. So today it was a big mess here in the room because all the Christmas stuff from uh, downstairs is packed up in and um, then my craft room needs uh, a little bit cleaning. <laughs> so um, I prepared some things and uh, yeah, I think it's a little bit better now, but that will make me forget something to pick. Um, let's see, because I know there is a stamp from the Art Journal Special that will be great for here. But now we need to find it. So how are you doing with your December day by day? Is there... Oh ready done I think I can't find it ah here it is um done the day is finished. Oh, good job. Um, so I have this. I don't know if it is still um, here, but I think some people will have this beautiful scent, the frosty patterns. And I like to fill my background with that. So this is the back and of course it will come like this and then we build a mini scene in the frame but also at the uh, uh, sides so it will be a fun project um... let's see All right, okay. if you have questions then ask please Hopefully I see it. Um, what I want to do is make some stamping at the background. And I made the frames. So you maybe you know the frames from Shadowbox. These two and I used a smaller one. And then you can make it like any size you want. Because you have to trim from this side a little bit smaller. So um, you can play with that. And then I did the inking the edges with um, weathered wood, this trash ink. So it's not that white. Um, but I didn't attire the background because I want some stamping and uh, making depth. So, it's... so I have this stamp and I have ink. And I do it with weathered wood and this don't have to be that precisely so I just do some inking at the stamp just holding it and pushing that down just some spots and if you want to do it precisely then you need something to help you with <laughs> like an acrylic block or something 
Uh, I made the frame with the shadow box frames. So um, on YouTube there are some videos with uh, how you make this frame. Um, I didn't do that again this live because then we were losing time. Um, not really losing, but um, there is a video of it. So then I have more time to play. <laughs> so now need to clean the stamp. And maybe I can do some masking. But I don't know that for sure for now. Yes, I really like to combine uh, different sets. So um, tonight is most, yeah, oh, most art journal special with a little bit Josette and a little bit Esther. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so every time is different, but I really like to combine because it's perfect to combine. Um, so that's that. Let me think. I need an extra craft sheet because now it's time to play with the earth background. I have this um, foundry wax from uh, Tim Holtz. Uh, it's a beautiful wax you can add um, with your finger. Um, I like to do it with my finger, but you can also use uh, a yep, an, uh, yes. How do I call that? A quast. Magritte, there is a video up um, uh, YouTube. Maybe Anja or else can put a link in here, but. There is a video, how do you make that frame? So, um, there is. You need to shake this uh, bottle because um, then it will mix. And they came in four colors. Um, silver, sterling, mined, and gilded. And stay tuned. Now I have to see which color I will do. I think killed it. Brush, yeah, of course, brush. But I need to shake that. Yes, at the Elizabeth Craft Designs YouTube channel, you can find that. So I thought there was some ball glue here. But I don't think it is a ball in there or so. Now I hear the bell. bell. I think it's good enough. Uh, bang it on the table. <laughs> My hand is a little bit the table. <laughs> I do a little bit at my sheet. And then just with my finger put some layer. But I don't want it everywhere. And you have to work a little bit quickly with this, otherwise it will be yeah, it feels like dust a little bit or something and the white spaces I will fill up with ink but for now I think it's good and this one I will do the same just at some spots you can also do um, 
do that with um, other wax or um, embossing powder just at some uh, points with glitter uh, and later you can add some ink So, uh, yes, when it dries, it uh, goes into a powder thing. So, this is a wax you need to um, heat, but you need to put this bottle away, otherwise, you can't use that. Okay. Once it was heat. So now I have to use my heat gun, sorry for that. And I will try to show that in the air. Putting my fox away and this a little bit underneath. I will heat it up. Uh, hi everyone. Hi Yvonne. So let's see if I can show it to you. I can see it. So it will be more shiny. I hope you saw it. If you don't, I will do it again. So, um, yeah, it's so fun to use this. Um, uh, let's see. This is a Distress Foundry box. And I called, I used the color Gilded. So now we have some uh, white spaces and I will fill that with some mm, I think a little bit gray hickory smoke And I go over the wax. After that, I will clean that with the baby wipe. If you want, you can color it the whole uh, the whole dye with uh, 
foundry rocks if you want. Let's see, the baby wipe. Maybe it's a little bit too light, but I will see that later. Mm. Yeah, so if you don't have foundry rocks, you will need it now. <laughs> It's a great thing to use also in your planner um, because it's now it's um, dry and it don't feel wax now. So um, I think it's a good one for in your planner and do some elements with it. Like that, just put the baby wipe over the wax. Then these parts are done. No, it's called wax, but it isn't the wax. Can you understand it? I don't. <laughs> um, let's see. I have also some trees and I think I will do that green because otherwise it will be yeah but a little a colder green so let's see oh I think you're going to shake <laughs> sorry for that I will do with, with pine needles It's a little, uh, some colder green color. Colder than pure paint or forest moss. Oh, you were shaking. <laughs> I see it now. Sorry. But I think this color is perfect for this um, project. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little earthquake. Yes, of course. Ah, uh, it isn't a really an embossing powder because you don't need Versa Mark. Um, just the wax is enough. Um, and when you put it um, at your paper or anything, um, it feels waxy. Wax. But, um, yeah, I can explain it. Maybe you need to watch a, a video from Tim Holtz. He can explain it, of course, better than I do. But it is not an embossing powder, but it looks like an embossing powder. So, are you already done with the Christmas cards or are you making Christmas cards for the next season? Because I take a break from Christmas cards. <laughs> I go to winter now. And also the new planner, my week planner. And um, you can um, make it so dark as you want. So if you do some trees lighter than the others, you can make depth in it. Because how darker, how far they into the wood. And if they are lighter, they are a little in front. So you can play with that too. I will do this one darker. 
just darker means another layer of ink. I also don't get so much for this year in the summer. Yes, this is pine needles. Oh, I used the baby wipe to um, pick off the maybe ink color uh, who came at the uh, wax. Because I did that later, then I heat the wax. And then um, yeah, it will be not, not that bright. So the trees are ready. Just cleaning everything. Are you still follow, following what I'm doing? Um, so let's see. Let's admire the cute fox because now he is in pieces. It's a little bit sad. First his head and I um, at high the eyes and making his mount before the life started. So this is the fox, um, you can make him in orange-brown color, but I made him gray and white. Um, <laughs> no, I don't think there's, there are coming more earthquakes, otherwise I will um, say it. I'm thinking about making a Christmas drink journal. Oh, that's a great idea. Um, so then his nose. And let's see, I have to make the line a little bit longer for his nose. Um, yeah, then his ears. Yes, the fox is super cute, but you can use them for winter now, but also for in the forest. But for this um, idea, what I'm showing you, you can use any animal you want or anything. It don't have to be this precisely. But I think he is cute.
Uh, yes, it is a sweet, uh, he has a sweet face. Absolutely. So let's get rid of the legs. Oh, his ears. <laughs> you need ears. You still don't have questions. Uh, still. And then he's almost done. <laughs> okay, no. Yes, first I uh, need to make all the elements so then we can build up the frame. So I like to work that way. And now I have to think about the branches because. I want to call them. Mm -hmm. Let me think. I will pick some ink. Maybe there is a little earthquake, but I don't <laughs> hope that for you. Yes. I think some stormy sky. will be good too and then I will do that with these branches from the winter home pocket and I will do that with some branches the whole uh, branch and some I will do only the edges so um, I like to make it a little bit different Will the fox get a friend? No. But maybe in another frame. Because um, it's my idea to make winter frames. And then put them together. Of setting them next to each other. Hmm, maybe I like this more. I think only the edges is better. Otherwise, it's it's it is too blue. Yes, I have a, a basket here with some uh, more animals for my other frames. So I have here the polar bear, the penguin, the raccoon, the 
the the winter scenery so there are animals in there too and also pick the gnomes so maybe i will make one with gnomes too Well, mine uh, camera is a little bit uh, switched, I see. Yes, I uh, die cut the fox in uh, white and inking it with distress ink. But I did that um, before the live started. Because I know myself, there are always not enough time. So, I think this better than the whole branch is blue. Uh, deze takjes zijn van de Winter Home Pocket. Anita. Van de Arginal Special. Ja, yes, zie. <laughs> I talk really a lot. Again. So, let's build up. Otherwise we don't have enough time. So just inking a little bit the edges of the snow, so we can see them a little bit better. Oh, I'm so confused. When you color the first leaf flower, it is blue, but you only... Coloring the tips, it shows brownish. It isn't brown, it is blue. I don't understand it. Um, so, this frame will later be here, but I want to make some snow. So I'm going to do it a little bit high because you need to think about the frame. So if you, I have higher it here, you don't see that at the bottom. Do I first do some trees? So now it's time to play and build everything up. This one is darker. So once you put this over here, so you see different layers. If you do this, you will get again another layer where you can add some more. I need to work a little bit higher, I see. So, you can add higher this. And I also want this part over here. So 
and also again you need to think about that frame because that's a little bit bigger and um, it makes your background a little bit smaller so you if you want to add higher things be careful with that That's one tree. Next one. Then the snow. Ah, I love those trees because I'm buying the mason jar kit. Yeah, it's a really great kit. You can do so many things with it. So you can, I'm, some few weeks ago I did a live with it. So if you didn't see it, you can uh, watch it back. This, and then we trim that part off. And also here at the top. And then another tree here. It was in front of the snow. Yes, that's also a great idea, uh, Sylvia. I will do that later. The fox is also for later. Then this part will be in this corner. Like this. Just put on some spots with glue. Like that. And then we have all these branches. I'm gonna do some little bit of inking. Always need more time. <laughs> Always. Oh, 
Um, so you can turn this off. this so now the branches i think i want to do some over here and some at the top And now it's time to apply the frame. So I will do that with double sided adhesive. I will do two lines just in case. I could watch you create all day so electric shining at the same time. <laughs> well, I will finish it tonight, of course. And these are great projects if you clean your room from Christmas stuff and you have new projects you can um, set at your room. I will turn it. Yes, that's what I want. So now I can turn off that and that. Well, I have to clean my room from all my Christmas uh, stuff. <laughs> it was a really mess, but um, then I need some tape again for this part for the snow and when I first started with this uh, idea I thought hmm, the background maybe it's too busy uh, but I think it's uh, good now.
and now I need to trim it straight to the frame. And then I have some three. And for now it's okay that this one is over the edge because it is the frame. And then I have some branches at the top. And then we are almost done. And you can make this in any style you want. Of what are you working with because you can use all the dies for this just how you want it It's flying away. Watch my shots again. <laughs> and the last branch. And maybe I will do some sentiment here, but I can do that also later if I am uh, done. Uh, but I think I don't have time to show the planner, but it's two minutes for nine over here, so I can do it. But do you want to see the planner? Or are you done for today? <laughs> Maybe I will add here something later, but for now, So this is this project for now. I will add some sentiment, I think, and something here with sparkly things. Hmm, I can do this. like that so it's done okay i will show my planner just putting my glue away Put this away. So I started with my planner for 2023 and I saw Monday the live from Esther. Maybe you saw it too. And she prepared and I also prepared. Uh, most of the paper I use is from Reminiscence Book 5, who is available today at Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, but I also use some paper from uh, Book 2. Because I have that still here and it will fit perfect. So if you have that too, it combines fine. 
what I did. I used the first dies with the tabs for the months. So um, in one planner there will become four months. So we will need three planners for January till November. And one planner from December. So what I did, I prepared the month pages, but also the week pages. And I, for now, I will go out for one page, uh, one side for every week. So I will go flip through it. So the first uh, planner will be a little bit brown vintage, because that's the prompt for this month. And after. With every month, I will do something with the uh, inserts. Then the next is uh, one top lower. Also brown colors, vintage. But also some lighter pages. And an insert. The third page. And I use different dies for the pages. So straight page, but also... Uh, let me see. Uh, the third page, the fourth page, the last page for this planner. Then you need to turn the third page when you die cut it. And then uh, the rounded page I use here. And then the last insert. So here starts my new planner, but I don't have that now, so I have to buy that. But here is some. My new planner is also uh, other colors. So here is uh, yellow, orange, brown, a little bit. For the next planner, yellow. And this is now the base, so I can add, of course, a lot of things now. Um, also here the third page. I love this paper. And is I go through all my dice and watch which one I like for now. So maybe there are some older dice, but hey, you still can use them. So and the last planner is with three months, and it goes to the green colors. And then you have your week planners base done. What I also did was and let me that. Is make the banners for the week planner. So it's oh, again all the die, but there are so many banners uh, come. I made the banners with some uh, the, with some uh, design paper, and these are for my uh, week numbers. So a lot of week numbers. And I use these numbers and I don't prepare that so far, but I will show it. Let's see, it's week 29. So then you can add high this and then you have a week number. But what I thought, you can use it uh, like this. But also, you can turn it and use them sideways and put something a little bit over this part. So you can use it in different ways. So I like that idea. And of course, the months uh, will come later. So that is what I prepared today. And I've never been so far... <laughs> As this. So I'm a little bit proud of myself. So, um, yeah, that's it. Are there any questions? A lot of uh, talking and showing today. But the, uh, you saw the planner from my mother. My new planner, week planner. And of course I made this frame. Um... Yes, it was a bit uh, busy life. <laughs> nee, um, thank you so much for watching. And um, 
I don't know who is Friday here, but it will be a lot of fun. Um, have a great day or evening and uh, we will see you next time. Bye bye.